Congratulations on the purchase of your new 100X. After removing the 100X from its box, place it on a sturdy table or optional base cabinet. The following tools are required for the installation. Once it's on a sturdy surface, remove the locking strap holding the test fixture in place. This is only necessary for manual and hybrid configurations. Place the generator onto the metal plate. Once secure, strap the generator in place using the Velcro straps. Note, if using a salt generator, make sure that the generator is already filled with the appropriate salt water solution. If using an oil generator, the generator can be empty as the replenishment jug will automatically fill the generator with oil. Next, attach the two clear tubes with white fittings to the bottom of either side of the generator. Now install the fittings on the top of the generator. The fittings are color-coded for ease of installation. Now let's install the aerosol replenishment jug. Ensure that the jug is no more than three quarters full. Note, the proper cap with fittings must be used. Now remove the left side panel using a 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver. Next, take off the top panel by removing the four screws and place the panel to the side. Next, install the canopy exhaust to the top of the unit following the instructions in the manual. Canopy exhaust is only needed if you did not purchase the local exhaust. Reinstall the top panel and secure it with the four screws that were previously removed. Pull the black and gray aerosol tube through the opening in the top of the unit. Attach the tube to the top of the aerosol generator. Reinstall the side panel. If you purchase the optional local exhaust, remove the right side panel using a 2.5 mm hex screwdriver. Using two people, place a local exhaust on top of the unit. Two locating pins on the exhaust will match the holes in the top panel. Secure the exhaust using the provided thumb screw, insert the screw from inside the unit through the top panel hole and tighten it. Plug the circular connector into the accessories power port on the back of the unit. Reinstall the side panel. Install the 3 quarter inch NPT adapter. Be sure to wrap Teflon tape around the threads and make sure it's snug with an adjustable wrench. Then connect the optional compressed air regulator with the compressed air line already attached. Now we're ready to install the power cord. Install the plug and turn the switch to the on position. You're now ready to turn on the 100X. Press the green power button on the bottom right corner of the touchscreen bezel. The unit will begin initialization.